Chapter 7 Geometry Solids Plain Shapes and Solid Shapes Children, do you remember plain shapes and solid shapes? Yes, ma'am. A shape which has only length and breadth is called a plain shape. And a shape which has length, breadth and height is called a solid shape. For example, my pencil box is a solid shape, but a paper from my notebook represents a plain shape. Very good! Can you tell about faces, edges and corners of different solid shapes? In a cube, every face is a square and in a cuboid, every face is a rectangle. Both have six faces, twelve edges and eight vertices. In a cone, there are two faces, one plane and one curved, one edge and a vertex. In a cylinder, there are three faces, two plane faces and one curved face and two edges. It has no vertex. A sphere is all round. It has only one curved face. It has no edge, no vertex. Excellent! Today we will learn about surface. Different solids have different types of faces and edges. Ma'am, what is surface? The part of a solid which we usually see and touch is called its surface. An object may have different types of surfaces. Faces, edges and vertices of solid figures. Figures having plane or flat surface. The floor, top of a table, dice and the blackboard has only plain flat surfaces. Figures having curved surface. A ball, an orange, the globe, an egg and an electric bulb all have only curved surfaces. Figures having both plane and curved surface. A candle, pencil, battery cell and chalk all have both plane and curved surfaces. Point, line and line segment. Children, today we will learn about basic prints of geometry. Let's learn geometry starting with a point. Point. We use a small dot to represent a point. A point has no size and named by a capital letter. The points shown here are point A and point B. Line. A line is formed by joining unlimited number of points together. It has no end or beginning point. It can be extended to any length in both the directions. The line shown below is line AB or AB. Types of lines. Straight line. A line formed by joining many points in the same direction is called a straight line. A straight line may be vertical, horizontal or slant. Curved line. A line formed by many points in any direction is called a curved line. Here, line PQ and RS are curved lines. Parallel lines. Two lines which do not intersect each other at any point and the distance between these two lines remains same everywhere are called parallel lines. Here, line AB is parallel to CD. Intersecting lines. Two lines that meet at a common point are called intersecting lines and the point where these lines meet is called point of intersection. Here, line AB and CD are intersecting lines and point Q is called the point of intersection.
Remember, we can draw unlimited lines through a point. Ray A ray has a definite starting point but goes infinitely in other direction. It has no fixed length so it cannot be measured. Ray AB is represented as AB. Remember, Ray AB is not equal to Ray BA. Line segment A line segment is a part of a line. It has a fixed length. It has two end points. Line segment AB is represented as AB. Remember, AB is equal to BA. Measuring and drawing line segments Let's learn to measure the length of a given line segment AB in centimeters. We use a scale to measure the line segments. Place the edge of the scale showing centimeters along the line segment AB. Adjust the scale in such a way that the zero mark of the scale is at the point A. Read the scale at the point B. Yeah. The mark on the scale is at 6 cm. So, the length of given line segment AB is 6 cm. Now, we will learn to draw a line segment of a given length, say 5 cm. Place and press the scale on the paper. Then, mark two points A and B against the marks 0 and 5 of the scale. Keeping the scale evenly, move the pencil from A to B along the edge of the scale. So, the line segment AB is of length 5 cm. Open and closed figures. Look at the figures shown on the board. All these shapes are made by lines in which a set of points change their direction. These figures have the same starting and end point. Thus, these are closed figures. Now, look at these figures. All these figures have different end points. These figures do not end at the starting point. Hence, these are called open figures. Symmetry What is symmetry? Symmetry, well, an object or thing, is said to be symmetrical when both of its Halves are exactly the same. Patterns Patterns are found everywhere around us, whether it may be in numbers, designs, etc. They are made in a regular or logical form or order and are mostly repetitive. Look at some patterns shown below. Tangram Tangram is a classical Chinese game of shapes and its pieces are called tans. It comprises of five or seven pieces which can multiply into hundreds of innovative designs. Tilling When a design is made using only one shape, it is called tilling. Tilling designs are possible when they are made of shapes that fit into one another without any gap or overlapping.